Hello, my name is Meredith Angel and I'm an eClinical Work Certified Implementation Specialist. Today I will be going through taking an out-of-office visit from your eClinical Mobile application. To get started, I'm going to click into my eClinical Mobile, enter your passcode if you have that enabled or complete the full sign-in. Now there are a few ways to initiate an out-of-office visit from eClinical Mobile. You can go from your schedule. If you already have a rounding list completed, you can go from the charge capture, or you can search for a new patient or add a patient at the bottom. I'm gonna go through from my schedule. So on today's schedule, I just have one patient. And when you click on that patient's name, it goes to their hub. Now this is the same screen that you would start from if you searched for a patient or added them new. And you wanna scroll down and find the new charge capture icon. When you click the charge capture, you open up your screen with the patient name at the top. And in line with that, you have a text box. If you click that, you can add notes. You can see there was a previous note added here. I'm gonna type a new one. So you can either type this on your keyboard, you can use the microphone built into your phone, or if you have um, speech to mobile recognition, you can use that as well. So I'm just going to type surgery follow-up and save the note. Below that icon is a pencil. Now you have to click the pencil icon if you would like to record a room number or a different facility. So when I click it, you notice the outlines around room and select facility. I'm going to put my patient in room number one. And for facility, you don't get a drop down, so you need to start typing the name of the facility that you're at. Now all of the facilities that have been entered into your desktop database will show up here. So if I start typing Missouri, I have Missouri Medical Consultants, that's my test facility. When I've completed the room number and facility, I can click the pencil and those outlines disappear. Next, we have admission, service date, and discharge date. Now, if any of these items need to be changed because they were not admitted or the service date was not today, you can simply click the drop down, indicate the admission date, the service date, and if they have a discharge date, that as well. Moving on to our code selection. So if this patient has been seen at your office or on your rounding visits through this charge capture screen, you can copy from a previous visit. So if I click that, I have all of these prior visits for the patient. I can select one. If I want to copy that, I can click copy in the upper right. In this case, I'm going to add from scratch. So I'm simply going to click the plus button next to ICD. And I'm going to search. At the top left, you want that IQ or I with the magnifying glass to be blue because that's your smart search, that enables your smart search. Next to that, you can search by assessment code. So if you know the exact code below, starts with and contains. I always do contains because I want to search for any codes that have the word that I'm searching for, not necessarily the codes that start with it only. And then auto map to ICD-10, you want your ICD-10 codes, of course. Below, you can search for the assessment name. And below that, you'll notice I have five codes listed. Now those have been selected to my favorites, which you can do from the settings of eClinica Mobile within the application itself. So I could either select one of my favorites at the bottom, so I can click anxiety and it's added, or going back into that um, ICD selection, I can search by name. So I'm going to search surgery. And we'll do surgery follow-up examination. Now you notice each of those ICD codes now has a check mark, mark next to it, and you want to indicate what the primary code is. Moving on to CPT, similarly you click the plus. You can search at the top by procedure code, so that would be the exact number. Or, and again, you wanna switch this to contains the procedure name. So I'm going to search surgery. And we'll do abdomen surgery procedure. 
or again, I have those codes selected as favorites at the bottom, and those are selected from the same place from your mobile application in settings. And again, you wanna indicate what is the primary ICD code for each CPT. We'll change this bottom one to anxiety. And your last section is billing notes. So again, you can either type or use your built-in microphone or mobile scribe recognition. Below that, you have add to rounding list. So if it, this is a patient that you will see again through your rounding visits out of office, you want to leave that checked off. If this is somebody that you're only seeing once, you can uncheck it. I'm going to leave it checked. And you want to click save and done. Our charge capture information has been saved. Now, if I go to my home screen, you wanna add them to your rounding list because now from here, if you click charge capture, they're right at the top. So in my test Marie, they'll be there and easily I can click their name and start a new charge capture. Now to see how all of this is translated into your computer database, I have ECW opened up. And depending on how your settings are set up for your um, scheduled jobs, how often they run, that patient will come in pretty quickly. So I just refreshed and they're already in here. I think mine's set at two minutes. When I click my patient's name, I can see all of the information that we just entered on the phone. So generally, a provider will enter all this information on their mobile device when they're doing the rounding visits, and then somebody back at the office, a manager, will complete the visit and lock it. So if anything needs to be changed here, any codes need to be added, that can be communicated to the office manager or to whoever completes these notes. Once all of the information is set, the note should be locked down here at the bottom. Yes, I want to lock the encounter and you can see we have a red lock at the top now. And then you want to click view claim. Now this creates it into a HICFA claim. And after that, you can close out of this screen. And that's the completion of an out of office visit.